What is going on boys and girls? My name is Adam Lucy. We watch a moving weight fishing and we just made it back to Grand K. Oh yeah, what up Elton? Yeah, yeah I'm walking down the dock, I'm asking if Elton can give me a hand. Hell, can you get... Sorry buddy, I can't give you a hand, I only got one. Huh. All right, I'll take the one though. What's going on, doggy? Everything How are we doing? Good. Everything good? All right, everything cool. All right, everything good. All right, I'm hopping in the wet. We're going to clear customs. We will see you guys at the customs dock. All right, we just finished clearing customs. We got DJ, he hopped in the whip. We got Red and we got Hilton up front. Hilton, everything good? See the hand. I see it. We need the hand. I need a hand from Hilton. I need a helping hand here. Five O's running from his wife. Can't figure out where we're staying. Never's got his phone on him, so we gotta get a hold of Five O here. He's running away from the boys. Alrighty, boys and girls. So, like I said earlier, we are at Grand K right now, and we are staying. Today is Thursday, 17th. We're gonna stay today, tomorrow, probably going tomorrow night, depending on the weather. If it lets up a little bit, maybe stay till Saturday. The original plan was stay till Thursday to Monday, but you can see there. And you can see there, it's blowing. Got some storms all over the place. Right now, it's not terribly windy. It's about, you know, 12 miles an hour, 14 miles an hour, which is still fishable, but the rest of the week's gnarly. This morning, they said it was blowing 50 or so. We're kind of jumping around in between storm, thunderstorms and, and a lot of wind. But we do have some sardines, baits. They don't look great, to be quite honest. I wouldn't say so myself, but we're gonna do. Um, got some pilchards over here and we might do a little bit of trolling too we got the cody's wicked witches sea band they're a flying fish nice to see which i've ever seen we got some fire lures over here and also trolling a little bit of ronzi action you know for my boys up north for my boys up north a little bit of jet head ronzi action so, we're gonna do a little bit of live baiting, a little bit of trolling. We're gonna go run around, do some tuna fishing. If I didn't tell you already, today we were fishing in the 44 foot container. It's an absolute beast of a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he goes. I know how to tame him, but uh, it's got a nice gap tower. Got the radar, of course. Got plenty of space around the rig. Got a ride dog running the boat. A couple of nice garments. So the two owners of the boat, Kara and Scott, are gonna be down here shortly. And uh, they're hanging out right now inside, getting a little AC breeze. When they come down, we will introduce them to you guys. And hopefully we catch a couple of elephant tunas and we'll see you then. All right, so Scott and Kara just got on the boat. Ready to go tuna fishing, guys and girls? Absolutely. Yes, sir, let's do it. Eww. We're all rigged and sorted here. We got a ride dog. Let's and go uh, like I said, we got, we got a little bit of wind, but it's all right. At least it's not blazing hot today. So we're looking forward to it. Hopefully we're not gonna have to do too much running. Hopefully those tunas are close. And uh, we will update you as soon as we find some birds. All right, so our tuna afternoon tuna fishing was cut very early due to this crazy storm we had come in. It was blowing like almost 30 miles an hour just now. Tying up the boat was a pain. See, it's choppy here for the boat stand. And uh, yeah, flags are absolutely cranking. We had a bad storm come through. So we just wrapped it up, came in. Rather be safe than sorry. And uh, we're gonna get them tomorrow. So that's all, that's all we can do. You know, we knew we were coming over here with some tough weather. What's that? Hi. Leon's getting me some conks out, but we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is morning number two, and uh, you know what? All of our baits died. Woke up this morning, we had zero, not one, zero live baits, which is terribly surprising and uh, inconvenient. So we're gonna net a couple sandy keys. I'm gonna set the GoPro up, and we're gonna go tuna fishing. All right, so we're done catching bait. A well full of sandy keys over here and a well full of sandy keys over here. Now, we are headed offshore. Awesome. What do we think, Scotto? Oh, today's a tuna day. Yesterday was tuna more tuna. of a, uh, we're gonna wash some clothes in the ocean, yep. but today we're gonna catch tuna. 
We were getting chased around yesterday by storms, bad weather, but today's a different story. Right now it's beautiful out. We got a little, little light five mile an hour breeze and uh, we're gonna run around and look. So we'll see you out there. We are pulling up on a flock here, boys. All right, we are marking a couple fish right now. Oh, those little dots in there. Especially that, it's a nice mark of two fish. Giant yellow fins, oh my God! Giant yellow fins airing out up in front of us. Ryan, push up here, dude. Those are huge. No, no, we're chunking that. Okay, oh my God. Huge fish blowing up in front of us. Those were 80 to 100 pound fish. Look at that giant right here. Dude, don't, 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 don't right here. All right. Uh, keep keep putting and then stop the boat. We want to get in them first, though. You know. You marking them? No. Keep keep hey, slowly. Right oh my God, those fish were so big. Oh my God, they're airing out up here. Oh my God! Holy fuck, dude, Ryan, those are absolute. We'll try it and then if not, oh my God, they're right there. Here, here, start chunking that. I'm gonna throw the popper. Uh, get Scott on that other rod. Get Scott on that other rod, right there. Yeah. Oh, they're right here, right, Ryan, they're right here. Just slowly throw it a cup at a time, Kara. They're gonna get in the baits that you just threw out, Ryan. Nice frigate in there. Huge fish, huge. Where you want us? Anywhere? Oh, yeah. No, no, don't throw that one. Ryan's going to hook a, a sandy key on there and show you how to let it out nice and... All right, so we had some nasty weather roll through. We got it a little bit everywhere. We got birds working in the front of the boat. We saw a couple huge fish pull up. Uh, put the trolling gear back out. Of course, right when we pulled it out of the water, they were on top blowing out. So put it back out. Now a huge storm rolled through. Hopefully we get bit. Let's see, they're right in front of the boat. Hey, right here. Woo! I was just about to film the mark. That's a big yellow there, Ryan. Come on. Scott, this is all you, brother. I got it. Let's let him do his thing. Looks like he's having a good time right now. That's a huge fish. Let him have a good time, Scott. I was about to mark the string. Got, got a double up, double up. Woo! I'm in the back, I'm in the back. Ryan, go to the back. We're tripled up. Jig him up, jig him up. Here, on that rod. Oh, it came off. Did he? Is it still taking lines? No? That one came off. Oh, mine just came off too. There he is. Should I just pull this lure? I'm just gonna dig this lure. Come on, eat the lure, eat the lure. Just had a quad header pull two off. Oh, look at him blowing up! He's blowing up on me! Ryan, watch this. Yeah, oh yeah. You want this one? I can reel in that one. Okay. You're gonna get bit reeling that in, Carousel. Here, Kara, I don't want to get tangled, so you sure you don't want this one? Here, I'm gonna put it in the rod holder, and you can just sit here, and this is all you need to do. You got it. So you can lean right here and just inch your line just like that. Okay. And you can just take your time. If he starts to run out, you can just reel nice and fast. Okay. Go ahead and grab on. Yes, ma'am. Get over here, Ryan. There you go, perfect, Kara. Yeah, this one broke off, Ryan. Dude, did you see him, Amy? Yeah, we have three fish. That's it. Oh my God, that's it. Yeah, watch me throw the popper. All right, we are tripled up. My GoPro's at 16%. All huge fish. We will update you. This is thing. 
That's a nice string there, Kara. Huh? Keep her on, perfect. Just keep doing it like you're doing it. Nice, nice finish there, Kara. Oh, hold the rod. You want to just grab the line and ease it in for yourself, like that. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice. Now I'm gonna tell you to get back on the rod in a second. Okay. You know, a 40 pounder. Keep her on, Kara. Keep her on. Keep her on. Okay, Couple more fine. cranks. My crew. Cranking Scott, so nice and easy. If he does anything crazy, just let him go. Let him go, just don't let him go for the motors. Oh, let me come behind you, he's coming for the motors. There you go. I just wanted to get it away, right? Come on behind, sorry. Hope this isn't up. Hope this is not close here. It's all good. Okay. You got his ass whoop, Scott. He's right here. There oh, he is. Whoa, that's a giant, dude. That is, no, yo, bit. that's a 90 pounder. Woo! Right? Now we got you. Oh Here my god. Help. Woo! Help. What the? <laughs> that's a giant, bro. Ah. Oh my god. Let me come up front. It's a giant. Oh, that's a monster fish. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's 40 pounds if I ever saw one. <laughs> Look at the rod beat. Oh that's a giant, Rye. Yeah. Yeah, man, nice fish. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's coming for a walk. Ryan's walking the dog. Right into his arms. Right into, right into where they lay. Right into where they are. All right, we're going to get some pictures. Absolute epic fish. The wind laid down. The rain laid down. We got to find these birds again. ASAP Rocky. So we just regrouped. Storms cleared through. Can't find the same school birds that had those yellow pins on them, but. We got some above the boat here, as you can see. And they're doing some circling up high. They're looking around just like we are, but we got, got the rods back out. No marks, no nothing. Who knows? We're gonna look around. Airing out like crazy in front of the boat up there. Like crazy. Oh my God, Ryan. I know, it's just, how are we not bit? It's crazy. They're going airborne. All right, this is the last two passes and we gotta lie bait them. They're up high, dude. Oh my God! That was a whale! I'm eight. Brian, dump it. Yeah, you're right. Okay. okay. Hold this for me and then I'll yeah. tell you when to hand it to me. Oh, hand it to yeah. You know, the no, because he's going to pull you in. <laughs> he's going to pull me in? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Very well. Oh, look at that. He's just circling. Yeah, he's just pinwheeling. Pinwheeling. Okay. Yeah. See the gap? Hey, look at the fish. Adam, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a bird one. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. They do. Take this rod from me. Yep. I'm going to go under the rod. Put okay. The... I got to bring him back here. That fish is way bigger than I thought. Yeah. Carousel. Right? Carousel caught a fish. Maybe if you come reel this, I'll help clean it. Not very common. He's got him. He's got him. Here, let's get another. We gotta get another bait out. That's a that's a good one. Kara, you're all, you're always whooping their ass. Yeah, we're not going. I'm sorry. We can't, right? I'm gonna wait. I would have grabbed it for you. We're gonna. Got him out of his pinwheel. He's dead. Get him! Ready? Help me. Three, two, one. Another small one. Yep, another 70 pounder. Let's get baits out right now. Yeah, I'll just sit here and let my fish run help that. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, if you know, you know. Oh, yeah. Same here, Reese. 70s. Wow. Nice fish. Very, wow. very nice fish. Carousel. Nice work. Coming up here. We got more fish. Past the crew, yeah. I'm going to clean some blood in a second. I just got to get a bait out. Marking them really good, Ryan. Oh! Popper eater! There was like three fish that boiled on. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have two. I'm not kidding, Ryan. Dude, two fish blow, blew up on it and then they looked like they got caught in each other. Oh. I'll show you impossible. Hand me the gaff and then I'll, I'll, I'll pass you the pole. the pole. Yeah. Oh, not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yep. Hold the pole and just lift the rod tip up and towards me. Watch your feet. Feet are watched. Feet are watched. Feet are good. Feet are good. Ready? Yep. Nice job, Kara. It's a popper. Popper eater. Nice job. All right. You the We're getting them. We're getting them. <laughs> you want to turn me? I'm Keep coming. Them. Yeah, he's pinwheeling. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring it up and bring it over here whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Now just walk him like a dog right over to me. Cup, one more crank, Scott, and he's yours. Put your rod in the boat. Got yeah. I'm gonna walk him back here. Ready? ready? Three, One. two. Uh, uh, watch out. Nice fish there, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Get him, wait, wait, wait for the head, move the head. Right in the eye. Okay. Let me move this to the back. Oh. All right. Something like that. All right, both, both, through both sides. Three, two. Another big one. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a giant, Ryan. That thing's huge. See that thing, right? That's a fish. That that's makes a more sense. Yeah, that's a big fish. That That's a 80 pounder. That's a little big fish, though. Yeah. Hello, little fish. Well, definitely do. 
It's hooked right in the tail. It just, it just pulled. Hook just pulled. Yeah. Did it really? De hook him with your eyes, Scott. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. I'm not happy. Lost the net again. Right there, right there. It's back the Did a fish? Did a fish kick it off? All right, let me try and put some fish away. I have an idea. Put some fish away. Well, that too, but we should put the net and the gaff in holes. We got it. Agree. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're getting a couple, Ryan. A couple of really nice sized fish here. What are we at? Ten? Eight? Nine? I lost track. We have three. They're all really, really good fish, so Four. we're going to keep catching them. Three and three. Oh, yeah. We got another one on. Nice hook. See how he got whooped. Whooped. You got to tighten your drag. Oh, there went the gap. There went the nut. Ooh. There went the hand. That was a, that was a dumb that was a dumb reach. I should have let him slide. The gaff will float up though. The gaff in him. Oh yeah. Look at the gaffs in him. Look at him. See it? Okay. So now we got a fish and a gaff we need to catch. I'm not going deep, promise. Wait, here he comes. He'll be back. He'll be back. There we go. Oh, this gaff's so light. Scott, you want to hold this? I'm going to grab his gill. Yeah. And we're going to lift on Time three. One, two, three. Come on, fish. All right, you can take the gaff out. <laughs> good, except he bit me. But it's good, yeah. It was a good bite, but it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not nothing crazy, but a couple. Can you fit this one, Ryan? Yeah. One more. I got a little one right here. Even though he's not so little. Even though he's 50 pounds. He is. Oh, we're marking them. Marking them good. Aaron out? Oh yeah, they are. All right, y'all, that's it for us. We got a couple tunas in there. And... Cup of tunas in there. We gotta get home, put some serious ice on these fish. We slushed them, but we only got an hour ride home. And uh, not going back to Grant, we're going back to Jupiter today. So we will see you guys back at the dock. Super ep epic bite. If you guys liked it, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you have not already. And uh, we'll see you back in Jupiter. What'd you guys think? It was an epic day of tuna catching, not tuna fishing. No, not tuna fishing. Reed? Amazing lunch huh. where is it what what what's for what is it for all right guys we did a little bit of cleaning up we got the bird and uh these are a couple yellowfins that we got packed beautifully with ice and we we're about to pack them one more time so we are uh gonna gut these fish and then pack them with ice overnight so they really cool down to get that super cold core temperature and then come back to the boat in the morning take them out and flay them up and uh we're gonna have a lot of poke bowls, ain't that right, eh? You know it. So we're gonna see you back at the dock tomorrow and we're gonna clean up clean one up for you guys on camera. So we'll see you then.
This is how your fish should look, boys and girls. <sighs> Just like that. You shouldn't be able to see them. What do you think, Ryan? Look good? I look great. All right, we're gonna weigh a few fish here, boys and girls and LGBTQ. By far not the biggest fish. We gotta have an 85 pounder in there, but this is a really, really quality fish. 77.6, absolute beautiful fish. Um, couldn't ask for a nicer tuna. So you see your whole body is emptied out with guts. So at least have five pounds of guts. You have